is a Harmony Remote Review, and uh, I'm going to show you how to control your PlayStation 3 and your other um, two TVs with this remote. And basically, this remote eliminates your other remotes that you have. So, you hit watch TV button, or turn on your TV, turn on your cable box, turn on your surround sound, change the inputs on your TV, and change the inputs on your surround sound. Touch of one button, all programmed under one button. Yeah. First, you gotta, you gotta program the button using a PC or a Mac, and then the PC will send the codes out to the remote and synchronize it. All right, to turn everything off, you hit the all off button right here. And I'll turn off the TV, cable box, and surround sound. Touch one button. Everything's one button. Um, to watch a movie, click on movie. And I'll turn on the TV, uh, surround sound, and the Blu-ray player. But if you have a PlayStation Slim, it's an extra step. So basically, you would hit um, devices, Samsung TV, right arrow, and any net button. Once you hit that, this will show up on the screen, and then click OK, and I'll turn on the uh, PS3 Slim. And you gotta have a PS3 Slim and a, a TV that has HDMI control features, like AnyNet or SimpleLink, stuff like that, or HDMI control feature. On, it's called on Sony TV. And now you can control your. PlayStation 3 using this. So this is what you want to use. Left, right, up, down. It's left, right. And then hit OK. So like that. And then the play the movie, hit OK. To pause the movie, hit OK. To exit out of the movie, hit exit. And then if you want to go back to cable, hit watch TV button. It'll send you back to cable. And I'll switch to inputs. Turn on the cable box, so forth. All right, now if it doesn't do it and you have a black screen, you hit the help button and I'll send out a code to correct the problem. And if it doesn't correct the problem, it'll ask you yes or no questions. Did that fix the problem? Click on no. Is there a scientific Atlanta cable box on? Yes. Is there a Sony surround sound on? Yes. Is there a Samsung TV on? Yes. Is uh, Samsung on the right input? You click on no. And then now is it? See, so it just sent out a code for cable input. And then is it on the right input now? Yes. Did I correct the problem? Yes. It's that easy. It has the guide. It has all these buttons that you need for uh, cable and DVR. You can also pause your DVR has all that and you can hit exit out of that it has the DVR functions by hitting menu so you can hit menu and go to your DVR list and hit exit out of that and hit all off and it'll turn everything all off and over here it'll also turn on the TV in the bedroom see I, I programmed it says watch bedroom TV. Click on watch bedroom TV by hitting the button on the side and I'll turn the TV bedroom on. And the remote does light up. And uh, now you can hit volume and then you can also turn it off. Just hit the all off button on top left and it turns it off. Thanks for watching. Post a comment. Subscribe. If you have any questions, if you have this remote, uh, let us know in the comments below if you like it or hate it. And uh, again, if you want to program this remote, go to myharmony.com, plug in your universal remote to your Mac or your PC, and put your email address in and create a password, and it'll um, send a, the Logitech program folder to your downloads folder or your desktop, and just extract that, and go back to myharmony.com and sign in, and plug in your model numbers for your devices, and activities, how your devices are connected to your TV and surround sound, what inputs are what. Thanks for watching.